morning. Good morning. Today we're going to make a really nice coffee with this coffee machine. It's very similar to a mocha machine because uh, the concept of this coffee machine is actually having a percolator with the pressure is going to extract coffee and basically what you want to achieve is the crema that you cannot achieve usually with mocha. That's pretty much for camping. Anyway, so that's a percolator that you will see. It's very, very similar to a mocha one, a bit bigger. First of all, we fill it up until here with water, filling up uh, this percolator until about three quarters with this coffee that we actually get it from Colts. It's medium quality, it's a nice grind. I had this little packaging that for four or five days. I would definitely recommend to get Rinder. Usually I recommend something that is more uh, creamy to use it with this coffee machine so you will have better results. Don't do this at home. All right, press it. Belmar is actually selling in the kit a press. I got this measurement, so I use it as a press. Then you try to clean every single residual. You put it inside, perfect. And then so this is a filter. Bellman is suggesting you to use the paper filter. I don't find it very necess necessary as long as you keep cleaning after every use with like you rinse it with water and that's perfect. You put it up and then you close it. Then you close it down. Obviously it's a pressurized machine. So you do need to be careful. Then. Once everything is done and ready, as you can see, you're going to have your steamer, you're going to have the ex coffee extractor and the pressurize. Okay, so we need to make sure that this level doesn't reach more than one, I would say 1.2, because otherwise the coffee will be extracted badly. Usually what I do when I reach one, I just release it with a bit of steam and then I'm going to close the steamer and then I'm going to extract the coffee. Back. actually giving this nice pressure the water is coming up from the percolator and this like pressure is going up towards the grounded coffee and the grounded coffee is doing its own magic and then it's going to be like extract from a little pipe now the coffee cup is not the best we use this one because they're very uh, nice for traveling keeping the heat, they're keeping the cold, and they're close. Let's talk about milk. We found almond milk to be the perfect solution for uh, us. You can get like so many brands. However, uh, we found out that the one in Colts is actually the cheapest one and is a good quality price. And basically with this milk, we just do like coffee in the morning, that's all. All right. What you want to do when you froth, you want to uh, get the milk until about more than half, not too much and not too little. As you can see, the indicator is actually going up, I'm going to release the steam from the coffee machine. We open the steamer. place my coffee mug there and I just release it slowly it's doing the suction you don't want that is going to be too strong that's a nice extraction you want to achieve this flow so usually when you reach that point, it's just going to be too much. But as you can see, the coffee inside is actually quite great. Now, after this, you're going to have your milk. The steamer, you open it up to release any steam that is just clogged in. You put it in 45 degrees if you can. And then you try to reach the side. That's the sound that you want to achieve. And then it's literally the first two or three seconds to make to make the, the froth 
and then it's just about temperature so you can literally go down as long as it's doing a vortex inside what you want to do now is like make sure that this milk lose every single bubble that may have occurred during the frothing all right so you get again your coffee This coffee is actually great. Enjoy!